in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Facebook ad step by step to generate more traffic for your website. Hey guys, welcome. My name is Lester Diaz and in this channel we talk about making money online, affiliate marketing, social media marketing and everything in between. So if you're new, consider subscribing. Let's talk about Facebook advertising and I've received a lot of comments from people who want to know how they can grow on Facebook, how they can utilize Facebook to generate more likes, to generate more clicks and visitors to their website. So what I'm going to do in a series of new videos is I'm going to create a playlist where I'm going to talk about different sections of Facebook advertising. Facebook has so many different features and options when it comes to advertising that I don't believe is a good idea to just put it all in a single hour long video. Instead, it's better if you chop it into little pieces so it's easy to understand for a beginner and you can utilize this information to uh, experiment and test new things to see if it works for you. If you like this type of content, consider subscribing, give me a thumbs up, and hopefully you will enjoy this video. All right, you guys, so what I've done is I've created a brand new Facebook ads account so that way you're not distracted by anything else and we're just it's just like we're starting from scratch and you'll be able to see everything that we do along with the other videos so the first thing we're going to do is in order to set up an ad you can go to facebook.com slash ads manager it'll take you to a page like this where you can set up your first campaign so we're going to click on the green button and this is where we are going to start choosing exactly what we want our campaign to do. Now, there's a couple of things that you can do this. You can use the quick creation tool, which I don't recommend. I think it's if you learn how to do it this way, step by step, uh, you'll gain a better perspective on how to set up an effective Facebook campaign. So just stick to the regular campaign setup process. And in this case, we're not going to cover any of this in this video. We're just going to stick to the basic stuff for beginners. So we're going to use traffic and we're going to choose our campaign name. So in this case, we're going to call this uh, just test and uh, we're not going to mess with split testing or budget or anything like that. So we're going to click set up ad account and we're going to click continue. So now we start from scratch. Now we are uh, basically in the process of setting up the whole ad and we are completely blank. So we're gonna start choosing exactly what we wanna do. Now, there's a couple of things that you need to keep in mind. You can do ads for traffic, you can do ads for conversions, you can do ads for to get replies on Messenger. So uh, the main uh, what we have chosen is basically traffic to our website so let's imagine for a second that we want to get more visitors to our YouTube channel just to give you an example so one of the things that you can do is you can set up multiple ads and this basically allows you to create different 5 10 15 ads if you want at the same time which allows you to set up different locations, different languages, uh, even different targeting options. So then you can manage over a period of 24 to 48 hours and see which ads or which targeting options actually work best, comparing them and see which ones are more cost effective, which ones actually generate the more results that you're looking for. So we're not gonna mess with that because as a beginner, we just want to set up a new ad and just see what the process is all about. Let's say you want to call it YouTube um, channel advertising, just to give you an idea. And we're going to just leave it with US. And we're going to scroll down. And now it says audience. Now, with audience, this is basically what allows you to uh, Create a specific audience or a lookalike or a lookalike audience, which basically is you provide Facebook with a database of contacts, emails, um, or information, and they'll put 
they'll actually give you a lookalike audience which they think might be similar to what you want your customers or your visitors to be. Now, because this is a brand new account, we don't have any custom audiences right now, but in the future, if you start doing some advertising, you'll be able to compile information on the people who visited your Facebook pages, your ads, your videos, and you'll be able to set up custom audiences. So we're going to, we're just going to ignore this for now. And we're going to go to locations and this one, we're just going to choose the United States. We can also choose, we can always put something like worldwide and it'll allow us to just target every single country. And we can go to age in this case, and we can choose whatever age we're targeting. So I like to go for specific ads with 21 and up. It's one of the uh, choices that I usually do with Facebook advertising. So with age, as you are changing different targeting options in the Facebook ads, you will see that on the right-hand side, Facebook will give you estimated daily results on based on reach, on clicks, and the uh, potential of how much you're going to get for your money on a daily basis. So we're right now in languages. We're going to choose English as the main language, and you can also choose the gender from if you're targeting just men or women. In this case, we're going to leave it at all. Now, the detail targeting, this is the perhaps the one of the most important sections because this is where you're going to choose who's going to see your ad and who's going to be your targeting audience. Exactly the type of people that you want to visit your website, to buy your product, to uh, like your page. So this is crucial. If you understand how the detail targeting options work, then you'll be able to basically just promote and sell anything you want on Facebook. So there's multiple ways that you can do this. You can just add specific interests and uh, Facebook will give you suggestions. For example, let's say that we are targeting uh, uh, people who watch gaming videos on YouTube. So we could go something like uh, gaming and it'll give you different types of options of different audiences that Facebook has gathered. So we're gonna pick something like games and based on that, we can also browse by demographics and interests or behaviors. So we're gonna click on behaviors and we're going to uh, look for different options here. So let's see, we have uh, mobile device users. You can also see digital activities and in digital activities, they'll give you more information. So you can see console gamers, we can check that. As you can see, the options for targeting on Facebook are huge because you can target on basically anything that you might be looking for. So let's say that you are targeting uh, YouTube channels, for example, uh, we can target specific celebrities or big channels on YouTube who might be into gaming. So we type something like PewDiePie uh, and as you can see, there's a PewDiePie or Let's Play, which is um, Let's Play Video Gaming. We can also choose something like Twitch, which basically it's a game, it's a gaming platform. And right now we have 480 million people on this uh, specific audience that we have chosen. But let's say we want to go specific. We want to go a little bit more specific. So we can go uh, narrow audience and we can say, okay, show this ad to everyone who likes console gamers, games, let's play PewDiePie and all that. But make sure that they also like YouTube. So we're going to type here YouTube. And, and as you can see, the audience went down. So we're targeting specific people who like video games, who play games, but they also like YouTube. Now, if you want to go even further, you can do that. Facebook will actually show um, all of this in combination of different targeting options to make sure that you get uh, the specific type of person that you're looking for. You can also exclude people. I don't want this to show the people who only play games on uh, their phones. 
So you can say that you can go and browse and you can say, okay, I don't want people who use mobile devices or a specific type of mobile device. And Facebook would actually exclude those people and not show your ads to those people. But it will show the ads to people who are like YouTube and are into gaming. So you can see the possibilities are endless when it comes to targeting options on YouTube. So you can spend an entire um, hour just talking about the different targeting options and different things that you can do with Facebook. Now, if we go down to connection type, you can also increase their targeting options by saying, okay, just show this ad to people who only like my page, my Facebook page, or friends of the people who like my Facebook page. Or you can say, don't show my ads to people who like my Facebook page. So again, more options when it comes to targeting. And you can save this audience for later. So I'm gonna click on save, and I'm gonna type uh, gaming niche YouTube, just to give you an idea. So we're gonna save it. And now that we saved it, you can see Gaming Each YouTube, it has all the information from the ad that we chose it. We're gonna go down and this is where you choose where your ad is gonna show on the Facebook platform. You can, I wouldn't recommend to go on the automatic placements because it's better if you can edit your own placements. This means that you're gonna tell Facebook where you want your ad to show up. So in this case, I'm gonna uncheck instant articles, uh, right column, and the marketplace. I'm also gonna uncheck Instagram, the audience network, and messenger. I just want people to see my ad if they're browsing on Facebook and the Facebook uh, feed. So we're gonna leave that at, like that, and we're gonna go for the budget. Now the budget is very, very simple. I would say to always start with $5. $5 will give you a general idea of how your ad is gonna um, behave over the next 48 hours. And usually Facebook is gonna need 50 clicks just to learn exactly what your audience wants. Now, based on the changes that we have done so far, our audience went down to 100 million people. That is still a lot of people. But keep in mind that we're only doing this for uh, this video for testing purposes. It's not like I'm going to just create an ad and just throw money at it just to give you an example. I just want to show you the targeting options and give you a general idea of how to create an ad. So we're going to go down and the next step is to continue. Now for this, you might need to choose a Facebook page. And uh, if you don't have a Facebook page, you might need to create a Facebook page. There's multiple things that you can do here. You can choose an existing post. If you already have a Facebook page with, with multiple posts and you wanna boost that post to make sure that more people see it, then you can use an existing post from a Facebook page you already have. And if you don't have one, you might need to create a new Facebook page. Format uh, is basically a single image, single video, slideshow. I would stick to either single image or a slideshow. For me, in my experience, those are the ones that work really good. And usually uh, you can get better results using video than just using an image alone. For this example, we're just gonna pick single image and we're gonna go down and let's see. So we're gonna browse, uh, we're gonna create the ad. And in this case, I'm not going to upload any images or anything like that. I'm just gonna use one of their free stock images. And let's say that uh, if you're promoting a YouTube channel that's all about gaming, then you can use your own gaming uh, video thumbnails or you can just use uh, one of the uh, free stock uh, photos that they provide. For example, we can just go and let's see, let's just pick this one and confirm. And it says website 
link. So I guess you would put here, if you were to promote uh, your YouTube channel, you will put your YouTube channel link. If you were to promote uh, your website, you will put your website here. So in this case, I'm just gonna put something like uh, youtube.com slash example, just to give you an idea. And this is where you will put your text um, where you can encourage people to check out your YouTube channel, to visit your website, depending on what it is that you're selling or promoting, then you would put that information here. Uh, so I'm just going to put some sample text so you can see how that looks like. And then the headline, which will be something like uh, what you want people to see, one of the first things you want people to see when they click on your ad. The call to action would be what you want people to do or what button you want them to click when they see your ad. In this case, you can choose no button or you can choose something like subscribe or watch more if you're prom promoting a YouTube channel or uh, something like a shop now if you're doing an e-commerce website or send a message or learn more. What I like to do is just typically use learn more as the more generic button to, to generate uh, interest in an ad. Just click confirm and it'll go to the Facebook approval process. They usually take, you know, three or four hours to get your ad approved. It'll start running and you start seeing some results in terms of how much you're spending, how many clicks you're getting. It'll give you a general information on exactly what you need to do or change if you want to change or do something. So I hope that you enjoy this training video and in the next couple weeks I'll be preparing more videos like this on multiple episodes on how you can take your Facebook advertising to the next level to utilize it to drive more leads and sales for your business, your website, or whatever it is that you're promoting. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. You can leave a comment and if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and I'll be uploading more content like this in the next coming weeks. Hopefully, I'll see you on my next video.